Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Uh, as many of you know, Aptera updated their expected delivery date. If you log into your Aptera account, it says here expected delivery date between 2023 and 2024. They did this a few days ago. It used to say expected delivery date 2022. And... If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know that that was a highly unrealistic um, delivery date. And this is probably a much more realistic delivery date. Now, um, we're used to getting this delivery date customized for each one of us. Like if you order at Amazon, they give you an expected delivery date that is pretty accurate. And um, if you uh, order from Tesla, they'll give you an expected delivery date that's fairly accurate and it's customized to your order. So people were thinking, oh, this is change for me, but this is almost definitely a change for everyone. No matter what you ordered or when you ordered it, it's gonna say between 2023 and 2024. So I expect that if you just placed an order today, right now, it's gonna say expected delivery between 2023 and 2024, because this is just um, a standard uh, text that they're going to put on everyone's account. It's not set up so that you see, you know, it looks at your order number and looks at their production values and gives you an actual date. So whether you were the very first person to order a Paradigm Edition or not, I think it's going to all say 2023 or 2024. Um, let me know in the comments if your dashboard says something different than this. I'd be very surprised if it is. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, a couple other things about expected delivery dates is uh, there was this um, article from Driven.io, which is an Australian site, and they are saying that um, Aptera is set to launch in Australia maybe in 2023. So it says that it, it could be here as soon as 2023. I think that's pretty unlikely. Um, and um, they said, our goal is to sell Aptera worldwide wherever possible, given local regulations. We're working through regulations to begin delivering it to Australia in 2023. We're st still establishing our production schedule. And this could be sooner or later. Okay, it's obviously going to be later. Um, it's very unlikely to be sooner than 2023, obviously, because that's this year. Um, <clears throat> and just today, a few minutes ago, actually an hour ago, um, Aptera sent out uh, an, an email to all the ambassadors. And basically, this is saying um, they hired a couple of new uh, marketing people. Uh, someone named Brooke Engerman is their new PR manager. And then there's Kaylee Venn, who is a new um, customer success associate. So it looks like she'll be working with Audra, um, who some of us know. And they talked about the uh, dynamic testing, which you know we've had a couple of videos about on this channel. And then <clears throat> uh, this is where they kind of clarify their production timeline. So we can't wait for all of you to be one of the first to experience solar mobility firsthand. As we get closer and closer to production, we'll be reaching out to every reservation folder individually and updating your dashboards with more clarity on exact delivery dates. So <clears throat> that's saying that this is um, not an individualized number. Uh, later on, as we get closer, they are going to update that <clears throat> as it gets closer. And so our goal um, <clears throat> Sorry, uh, updating after dash was more clear on exact delivery dates based on your specific configuration choice, reservation date, and where you live in the world. So I think this is all very important. Our goal is to begin deliveries of our earliest Paradigm Edition customers in 2022, followed by as many U.S. customers as possible in 2023 until we ramp up to our manufacturing goal of 40 vehicles a day. We hope to start international deliveries in 2024. So basically, they're saying, if everything goes perfectly, they're going to start international deliveries in 2024. And I think it is likely that Australia will be um, probably like Australia and Canada and Mexico are going to be their first international deliveries. Canada for obvious reasons, um, Mexico for obvious reasons, and then Australia, probably because Australia has wide open roads uh, similar to the U.S. And the width of the Aptera is going to be an issue for European customers and they uh, the width will probably not work for a lot of European roads and so I, I think those uh, people in Europe um, it's going to have to be some kind of special one-off delivery for you guys or they're going to have to modify the Aptera for the European market but for Canada, Mexico and Australia I think they can just kind of keep it the same and ship it out um, unless there's some local regulations in those countries that I'm not aware of. So. 
Who's going to get deliveries first? Obviously, it's going to be the Paradigm Edition people. That's um, the 400 mile range front wheel drive, all solar Paradigm ones with the enhanced audio. There's about 220 of those. And there's 110 of the Paradigm Plus, which is the 1,000 mile range, um, all solar Paradigm. Now, the Paradigm Plus people aren't going to get there soon, um, as I understand it. It's going to be the 400 mile range Paradigm editions. Those guys are going to get it first. And I suspect it's going to be those guys in the United States and probably those guys in the United States closer to California. Um, because if you're in like, you know, if you're in the UK and you ordered a paradigm, I do not think you're going to get it in 2022. You, you probably aren't going to get it until 2024 or 2025 is my guess. Um, so the people that are going to get it first are paradigm edition customers, uh, located in the United States, probably located in, Ca uh, around California. Then after they roll those out, however many of those are in America, and maybe they get out like maybe 150 of those, um, then they're going to start rolling out probably the 400 uh, mile range cars in America um, by reservation date. So if you ordered it first, you're going to get it. And I suspect they're going to roll it out to people nearby around um, San Diego because the earlier ones are going to have, um, you know, there's always going to be some growing pains. They're going to have issues and they're going to want the customers nearby uh, so they can go and repair and handle any uh, issues that are in the first round of manufactured vehicles. And then they're probably going to roll out to the rest of the country. And then I don't know, you know, if you, I don't know how much like all wheel drive is going to set you back or if, um, or if like having bigger batteries going to set you back. I don't know what their timeline is. I'm hoping to clarify that with them. And so that, that's, I think, how it's going to go down. So I suspect if you're a U.S. customer and you ordered a 400-mile range vehicle that's front-wheel drive, um, then you are, it looks like they're on schedule to be delivering those throughout 2023. So if you're a U.S. customer and you order the, four, you know, the standard one, you're pro there's a decent chance you're going to get it in 2023. Um, if you ordered the all-wheel drive or the 1,000 mile or you're an international customer, I think that's a little more murky uh, as to when you're going to get your um, um, when you're going to get your product. Okay, so the other last thing is they're going to have an ambassador webinar uh, next Wednesday at 9 a.m. So I will definitely record that and I will most likely not be able to upload the entire ambassador webinar. Uh, to YouTube that they asked me not to do that, but I will definitely summarize the high points of it and, and let you guys know about that. Okay, so um, yeah, if you notice that your dashboard says something other than 2023 to 2024, please let us know. I'd be very interested to know if yours is different. Um, I ordered mine pretty early. I did not order a Paradigm. So if you're an early Paradigm order person, maybe it shows you something different. I kind of doubt it. Um, but let us know in the comments. Um, but I was pretty early. Uh, I'm one of the very early ones and I live in California and I'm an ambassador. Um, so I think, um, if I order the right configuration, I should be pretty close behind the paradigm order holders. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, comment below.